Hey guys and welcome to Anya Chanel's Art or welcome back. I feel like it's been a while since I've been able to say that so yay. Today I have for you, I'm not sure what to call this video, it's kind of like a holiday lifesaver slash holiday essentials or travel essentials or you know holiday favourites. So I look like I've basically got a little QVC shop going on, it's quite hilarious but because of the lighting I really wanted to get a good background and I couldn't do that so I've just set up shop here and I'm going to show you guys what's been my favourites this holiday. I am currently in Lanzarote, Ooh, it's our final day, we go home tomorrow and it's been a lovely holiday so I definitely just felt I needed to show you guys what have been my favourites, what I've loved this holiday and literally what have been my lifesavers. <laughs> So first off, I'd like to say that my tangle teaser has literally saved my life this holiday. As you can see, I've got curly hair. Usually I don't. This is my natural state of hair. So this is the thick and curly tangle teaser. I don't know if you guys know by now, which I'm sure you do, because I have revealed it on Instagram, anywho. But I'm basically one of the faces of the new tangle teaser campaign. So we shoot for that next week, so I'm super excited about that. So through doing that, I got sent a load of tangle teaser goodies, and I had to be stripped and only bring one on holiday, because, you know, I was only taking hand luggage. This is why are these my favourites. So yeah, so this tangle tees are thick and curly. It's absolutely amazing. The bristles are so long. I mean, I've always loved the normal tangle tees, but the fact that these bristles are so long is just perfect for my hair type. My hair is literally a bushel right now during this vacay. So this tangle teaser has literally saved me. Keeping on the hair care, as I was just talking about my tangle teaser, this is a shampoo and conditioner, and this is the Garnier Ultimate Blends Oatmeal Shampoo and Conditioner and it's literally so nice, so soft, it's really good for my hair. So my hair hasn't been itchy, my scalp hasn't been dry at all considering I've washed my hair literally every day. So yeah, this has been a definite saviour this holiday. With hair care, I have one of these. I don't even know what they're called, they're like the hair bands that aren't meant to sort of crinkle in your hair or leave kinks or anything like that. Not sure what they're called, but yeah, they're definitely handy, really easy to use and you can just put them on and still kind of tan through them without worrying about having, you know, the ring mark around your wrist. And then finally on hair care, this is my olive oil. It's just a kind of hair lotion, hair cream. And because I've kept my hair naturally curly, I've literally just shoved this on after I've washed it and kind of towel dried it. And it's kind of left me with bouncy curls. Mine is when the wind's really strong because then my hair's slightly cray cray. I just wanted to include this. I know this is generally an essential, but I just felt like it was a really good deodorant. It's been really powerful. It hasn't dried my armpit whatsoever. This is the Short Maximum Protection and it's in the scent confidence yeah so it's been a great product you put this on the night before I have been using it in the morning as well just for safety because obviously I'm in a hot country but yeah it's been amazing for my face I've been washing it with this simple kind of refreshing facial wash gel this is really good for my skin because my skin's quite sensitive especially now we've been in the sun so this has been my go-to nail polish this holiday this is the L'Oreal Paris oh, what they're called it's one of their kind of um oil infused nail polishes. I'm not sure the exact title of it, but this is the number 552 Ruby Follies, maybe. But yeah, it's literally just a deep red and I've loved it. And because this is oil based, um, you can actually, when the nail polish starts to chip, just peel it all off. So I didn't need to bring any nail polish remover, which is amazing. So yeah, because I've been on the, in the chlorine and stuff like that, obviously they have chipped quite a lot, but yeah just peeled it off and started again so it's so easy to take away and they do amazing colours also. Continuing on with makeup or beauty, I just need to talk about this palette. This is by The Balm and it's the Balm Voyage Volume 2 palette. It is just amazing. You may have seen this in a vlog before if you watch my vlogs but oh, it's just the perfect travel essential. It has everything. I knew I wasn't going to be overly wearing makeup anyway so I was like I didn't want to bring too much. This has nine eyeshadows quite a variety of colours as well. Got my highlighter, bronzer, two blushes and lipsticks and a mirror. So it's been absolutely amazing and I've used, I haven't used the lipsticks yet but I know I haven't worn makeup too much but the first few days I did wear makeup and I did use a couple of these eyeshadows. The contour bronzer is great, the highlight is insane and the blushes are just lovely. So yeah, definitely my favourite palette. Mm. And then for mascara, this is the L'Oreal Palace Mega Volume Miss Hippie Mascara. I love this, it literally flutters my eyelashes so much, it's so easy to apply, it doesn't really smudge whatsoever, and um, it has lasting power, and then when you take it off at the end of the night as well, it doesn't grip to your eyelashes, like it is really easy to move considering it's such a full on volume fluttering mascara, so yeah this is definitely currently my favourite mascara at the moment, 
and yeah, I got one mascara now that's saying to me, I knew I trusted this one. So now on to moisturiser. This is the Body Shop Vitamin E Eye Cream. Now, with obviously all the sensitivity with the sun, this has been perfect for me. I've just been using it under my eyes. I also, because it's a bit mini, have used a bit on my nose. I generally wore these huge sunglasses, which I will show you guys. So my eyes have kind of been protected this holiday. Obviously, this is Honka Wern. I'm just so happy that I finally found an eye cream that, you know, does the trick, nourishing, moisturising, not itchy, not drying, anything like that. So yeah, love it. So in here, I have the Hawaiian Tropics Tanning Oil. This is only factor four, and I burnt using it, let's just say that. But I think it was because it was the first day, there was no melanin in my body and whatnot, or in my skin. Um, so yeah, I did burn on this, but it is really nice. Obviously the scent is insane. Anyone that knows about Hawaiian Tropics, you will know about the scent. The coconut smell from this is just absolutely delightful. So yeah, I used one of these already. This is the second one I brought with me. And as we're going home tomorrow, I'll be taking this back with me as I didn't get to Sunday because we got burned. But I am going away in a few weeks, so it'll obviously be coming back. Carrying on with lotions and potions. This is the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. I've rambled on about this for a lifetime. Um, this has saved me. Not only do I use it constantly on my lips, with my little minor sunburn on my nostril, on my nostril, <laughs> on my nose, and then my forehead got burnt as well. I've been using this overnight and a bit during the day. I remember I sat in a restaurant and my nose was just shining with it on. But yeah, it's definitely a soothing product and it's super moisturising. Just super amazing. It's it's eight hour cream. Elizabeth Arden. Everyone knows about this bad boy. So next we have my Nivea Age Define hand cream. Um, I take this everywhere. It's perfect for the plane. So literally, as soon as I wash my hands, I've like got a cream on again. Even if I don't wash my hands. Um, also because it's Q10 and it's anti wrinkle and it's for dry hands and it's got Q10 and UV filters in it. It's obviously quite good for the skin. So I have been using this on my body as well because I ran out of lotion because I literally got so burnt that I was obsessively moisturising, which I had to do. So because of obsessively moisturising, I then had to purchase this. Now this is by Barbaria, I think you say it. It's an advert on the telly and I was like, is that how you say it? And so they do actually use natural ingredients. And this is aloe body milk and it's fabulous. I'm kind of good. we've got a lot left because we only bought it the day before yesterday and obviously we're going tomorrow, but I'm literally smothering myself in it. It's so, so good. It's got a, like, literally a soft scent, not too strong. It's moisturising, it's not sticky, it doesn't feel gooey or anything like that. And it was literally a bargain, four euros, 70 cents. So, definitely glad I've got this. A random essential was my earphones. This was so I could listen to music while I was sunbathing. The one and a half days that we did because we were so burnt. <laughs> But yeah, and it's been great for playing because I've been editing vlogs and whatnot, so these have been a saviour, which along with that is obviously my phone, but you know, that's a necessity. Also, I had to include my Havianas with my little square diamondy stone. I think I include these all the time, like they've been in a monthly favourites, the previous travel essentials, but yeah, I just love them. They're so easy to wear, so comfortable. This just blings it up. They're black, they go with everything. I have to stop myself bringing my other colours because I do have more at home. And finally, <laughs> so these have literally become my most treasured item. And um, my partner bought them for me at the airport and it was my anniversary present. But these are my Tom Ford sunglasses and they're absolutely stunning. So they come in a white case like this, which is actually, quite squidgy but still sturdy enough. My partner calls them TV screens because they are ginormous, but they're amazing. Look at the size of them, they're cat size. So I saw these on a model and I was literally on Instagram and I was like, where are your sunglasses from? And she's like, oh, they're Tom Ford. And then we saw some at the airport and I was like, they were Tom Ford's, but I was like, I'm sure that's not them. And then luckily we went into the sunglasses hat and they had them and it was the last pair. So I'm just so, so chuffed with them. Like, I just think they're absolutely insane. They're so big, so amazing. Obviously help attract sun to burn my nose, but protected my eyes, which is the most important thing. But yeah, I absolutely love these sunglasses so, so much. And I could live in them all the time. I think I've barely taken them off this holiday. So guys, I'd like to say a massive thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my holiday favorites, travel essentials, holiday lifesavers, whatever this video is called by the time it comes out, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye now!